Hi, I'm Mojo, and this is our Saturday morning mini lesson. We're going to talk more about third hand play, and I'm going to talk specifically this week about trapping high cards. Uh, let me give an example hand here. Uh, this, this one's kind of obvious, and that's what's pretty cool about it. Let's say that we're sitting third, uh, third seat and our partner leads the four of diamonds and over in the dummy there, you can see the, uh, the uh, king and the eight on the right. And if declarer plays low, <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I want to do the mouse. If declarer plays low from the dummy, we kind of know what to play, don't we? Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's fairly obvious. Yeah, clear, clear the drawings. There we go. Um, we're going to play the queen. And it's because we can see the king there in, in the dummy. There's no need to play the ace. That would just make the, the king get a trick. Well, that's fine. But what if this is your holding? Let's do it this way instead. Partner again leads the four. <clears throat> and there's the king and the eight in the dummy. And declarer calls for the eight. Well, what's the correct card to play in this case? It's not... <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't get ahead of me there. Let me, let me do this here first. Um, uh, you'll get your chance. Trust me, you, you will. <laughs> um, the thing is that where, where is the queen? We can't see where the queen is. Let's say that we look at all of the cards and we see that our partner has the queen. There's no need for us to play the ace. <clears throat> In fact, if we play the ace, it gives declarer a trick with the king your jack is going to win the trick. So, um, and the idea here is that you're keeping this high card in the dummy trapped with the high card you have sitting over it. You've got the ace dangling over the king like a sword of Damocles. And this was fine because we could see that our partner had the queen and this one's fairly obvious too. But let's say that we're in the same situation, declarer plays the eight from the dummy. Is it still right to play the jack when declarer has the queen. Well, the easy way to see what it is, what works with this one is what if we play the ace now because we think we need to. Declarer plays low. Let's see, we play our ace, declarer plays low. And now declarer is getting two tricks in the, in the suit. The king is high and their queen is high. Now, this assumes that they'll have transportation back and forth. And declarer is always entitled to one trick in this suit, but they're not entitled to two. Let me set that up again. Our partner led the four, and this is the, the entire holding. Um, if our partner had the queen, it's right to play the jack. If our partner doesn't have the queen, it's right to play the jack. That's the thing. Um, you can give declarer a trick with the queen in this case, and that's fine. The Clara is entitled to one trick, but they don't get a trick with the king. You're keeping the high card trapped. Okay. Um, it's like taking a finesse against the dummy, but it's it's more about trapping the high cards in the dummy. Let's now now get out your annotation <laughs> tools. Let's practice this. Let's say that your partner leads the five and declarer plays the three from the dummy. What card do you want to choose now? Go ahead and uh, annotate one. There we go. Okay, most of us are picking the jack. Simonetta is kind of on the <laughs> on the on the edge there. The jack is the right one. Let's look at all the cards. Uh, notice that our partner is holding the king. The jack will actually win the trick. Here's the, a more interesting uh, observation with this one. Suppose we didn't play the jack. Suppose we played the ace. Let's watch what would happen. If we play the ace now declares queen here in the dummy is behind our partner's king. And if we lead the suit back, declare now always gets a trick with the queen. Our partner can take their king now and the queen is set up or do, our partner can play low and the queen wins the trick. So you see, you're, it, by playing the ace in this circumstance, you're giving declare a trick that they weren't necessarily entitled to. Playing the jack would keep them, keep that queen trapped with your ace behind it. Here's another one. Partner leads the five. Here's the holding in the dummy. Let's say the declare plays the three. Uh, okay, annotate a card. Go ahead and pick your card third hand to play. 
what are we guarding against? It's that jack in the dummy, isn't it? We need to keep our king over the jack. Let's look at the rest of the cards and see how this would play. There's the ace, and the player is always entitled to a trick with the ace, but there's no need for us to play the king. In fact, if we do play the king, notice how it gives the clearer a trick with the jack that they weren't entitled to. Let's watch how that happens. The king loses to the ace, of course, and now the clearer has the option of playing a low card towards the jack. And the partner has the queen, they can take it, but that sets up a trick with the jack right there. Or if partner doesn't take their queen, then um, the clearer gets the trick with the jack right now. So we need to keep our king hovering over that jack, trapping that high card. Here's another one. The four is led from the dummy. Uh, let's see, partner leads the four, the three is played from the dummy. What card do you play now? Yeah, the 10 is the, 10 is the right card. Let's look at what happen if, happens if we did play the ace. If we do, here's the queen in Declarer's hand. Uh, our partner doesn't have it. By keeping the ace over the, um, over the dummy, let's see, let's play the 10, and we lose one to the queen, that's fine, but Declarer gets no more tricks in the suit. Uh, they get the one they were entitled to. Since they're holding the king and the queen, they're always entitled to one, but they don't get two. And that's, that's a, that could be the difference between setting and making the contract. Um, what I wanna show now is a hand. Let's look at a hand. I'm gonna go all the way through this one. I'm gonna set it up. Uh, we're going to play here in, in, uh, in East. And let's say that North uh, opens the bidding one club. We've got a nice one spade over call. So let's give a one spade over call. And let's say that South bids one no trump. And it goes pass, pass, pass from there. Now we have bid in the auction. We made an overcall of one spade. So it's it's uh, perfectly reasonable for our partner to lead our suit. I, that's what I my hope my partner would do. Let's see what to play in the dummy. I'll go ahead and run the run, run the robots. Okay, Declarer plays a low card. I think we've got a lot of clarification. Everyone's enjoying the annotations. Let's play the nine and see what happens. Can we set this contract? Contract's only one no trump. So I'm letting the robots play here. I'm gonna give a, a count signal on this one. And um, Declarer can see that they're set, I can see that Declarer is setting up clubs. It looks like they've got a lot of club tricks to play. Our partner held up there on their ace and they waited until the second one to play it. They lead back a spade. I get to cover that now with my ace. Don't, don't duck the ace, the, you, your ace, you're keeping your ace specifically to trap that king. So you need to take the king when you can. And now I get to take the rest of my spades. Yes, partner started with two spades and I could see that they were three, three in dummy and declarer's hand. My last spade will be a good trick. Yes. And now, of course, I've won five tricks. I have the ace and the king. I'm not going to avoid taking those because those are the, the tricks that will set the contract. Mojo, you don't mind putting the whole, all four hands up again? Just want to take yes. a picture of it. Let's do, okay, yes, let's do that. Because um, that's a good, that's a good example for um, count and, and when to, and how you have to play the ace on the second one. Let's do that. Okay, north is the dealer and here are all four hands face up. North opens the hand, one club. We have a nice one spade over call. South bids one no trump. Now this is, they're saying one no trump holding the queen third in spades. That's a little bit iffy for a stopper, but uh, when with our partner holding the king third, king eight three, that's certainly in combination, that is a stopper in spades. What they don't realize is that it's not enough, unfortunately. Um, but one no trump kind of ends the auction. Our, uh, our partner here has a, a minimum 13 points and there's no reason to keep bidding on. And so um, here's, the, here's the lead again. Our partner led the six of spades, the top of their doubleton. And here's where looking at the king eight in the dummy, we're going to keep the king trapped and play the nine. Notice we're playing the bottom of our touching sequence of cards, jack 10, nine. Uh, that lets partner know when it loses to the queen, by the way, partner can usually deduce that we have the jack and the 10. 
if uh, declarer had the 10, they would beat the nine with the 10. So partner knows that we have the 10 and probably the jack as well. So here with the clubs, declarer is working on setting up their club suit. They have to develop tricks in the clubs. Our partner has the ace of clubs in their hand, which, which brings up an interesting possibility. What if we had taken the ace on the first trick? Let's see how that would happen. This is just replaying it as, as we played it the first time. Suppose we, we took it to heart to play third hand high. Let's go all the way back to the auction, look at all the cards. And again, our partner leads the six of spades, declare plays low. If we were to play high here, now um, declare has plenty of time and lead back the jack, for instance. Plenty of time to set up their clubs. And what's even worse is that when declare starts playing the clubs and setting them up, playing low, a high card from the short side here. Our partner takes the ace of clubs and, uh, and that's the end of it. <laughs> Declare gets uh, lots of club tricks. They, they still have a spade trick coming. Uh, they don't need, and oh, they have the king of, uh, king of diamonds as well. So uh, they don't need any more tricks in our hand. And Declare makes, makes the contract easily. So that's it, third hand high, but keep the cards, keep the high cards in the dummy trapped if you can. Um, and so this is one of the good exceptions for playing third hand high. And that's what I have for this morning. Any questions? And thank you for the, uh, for the suggestion, Sheila. I'm happy to go back and do it again. Thanks, I got it, yeah. So, mm -hmm.